OBS Studio plugins. I'm not gonna lie, you guys seem to love those videos. So I decided to make a video with a bunch of them. I'm just gonna be listing them off and giving you a brief description of what they do. This video is not sponsored, but I'm still raising funds to buy a laser cutter for my friend. So that will be the first link in the description and also in the pinned comment. Let's get right into it. Face Tracker by Norihiro, if I remember correctly. It tracks your face. It basically zooms in a little bit and then everywhere you move your head, it's going to track your face. Straight into OBS with nothing else. I personally use it for a channel point reward for funny moments and it could be an alternative to the Insta360 link if the face tracking is the only feature, but the camera does more than that. Watch my video. Adam Vertical, of course, it's kind of like one of the most popular plugins uh, that came out recently. It allows you to record a live stream and save a replay buffer, but in vertical with its own scenes and its own sources and you can set it up to do both at the same time basically. I use it to record on other channels when I want to have vertical and horizontal content at the same time so that I do just one edit. I also use the replay buffer or the backtrack on my live streams in order to immediately have a clip so I don't have to go through the whole process of editing to make it vertical. Input overlay if you want to show people the keys that you're pressing including your keyboard and your mouse. If you're playing a highly competitive game and things like that sometimes people want to see the inputs that you're pressing. Not to confuse with input history which is something that I use when I'm doing Photoshop stuff that actually shows uh, uh, your input. So if I press, you know, alt plus something, it'll show the whole string. This one is not listed in the OBS forum as far as I know, but there probably will be a link in the description. Freeze filter, exactly what it sounds like. It actually freezes the frame. You have a camera, for example, you activate the freeze filter, it freezes. <laughs> So it's pretty cool if you want to combine this with other stuff, maybe with StreamerBot in order to create specific effects. I used it in my video about an album cover effect. Move by Xeldro. So you probably know this as Move Transition, but the name changed. It's only Move now. So of course, I use this one all the time for pretty much everything that I do. The anime split screen effect. The instant photo effect. Recently with a Starfield camera overlay, and I'm actually learning more about it. There's a bunch of stuff that I don't know how to do with it. And the more I use it, the more I discover little options that it gives you. So this one is pretty much like my favorite and like my, my number one most recommended plugin for OBS. Source clone. That one was mostly made because if you add an effect to a camera in a scene, for example, gameplay scene, you want a circular webcam. So you add your filter, image mask blend, you have your filter, but then you go back to your just chatting scene and then your camera is circular again. So source clone will help you Fix that basically by creating a clone and then you can add a filter to one of them and then the other one is not affected. There are other ways to still have your camera not be affected, but source clone is just simple. 3D effect allows you to basically uh, skew and also rotate in 3D space in a way basically giving you the, the perspective feeling that your source is going to be 3D, right? So. I personally like to use those things to make other sources like my chat look like it's really part of my room. So I'll just skew it in order for it to match the perspective of my place. OBS text slideshow, which is one that I demonstrated, is basically just like the OBS image slideshow, but for text. And if you're wondering why would I use that, it's because you might wanna display things like alerts. If you have specific alerts for a specific amounts, if you have specific uh, chatbot commands, you want to display that on screen without having to make a list one by one, genius. That was not a sentence. <laughs> Polypop Live, not really an OBS plugin. It's pretty much its own broadcasting software, but I use it in conjunction with OBS and you can create like cool 3D effects. And there's a bunch of things that can be triggered through it directly without needing anything else. So I really want to recommend it. Background removal. Honestly, it does a pretty decent job, especially with the option of just blurring the background without necessarily removing it. It can make any webcam look way better directly in OBS. Another one that would go well with the background removal is recursion effect. It's that one that basically duplicates the source multiple times and gives you that September look, that disco look. Since you need a little bit of transparency to have the full effect, you put these two together, boom, it's disco time. Waveform is basically an audio visualizer straight into OBS. You select specific sources and then there's a bunch of options, including like circular ones. You can mirror it, you can customize it as you wish with gradient colors and all of that. It's awesome and I need to use it more on my stream. There's Owned Pro. No, they don't sponsor this video, although they sponsored a lot of my videos. But the cool thing with Owned Pro is that they have the biggest library when it comes to overlays. And Owned Pro allows you to basically one click install full overlay packs and then switch between them. There is a free version, of course. You still get like a bunch of, I think, eight overlay packs or something like that. And then, um, and then there's the premium version, which where it's like 600 overlay packs. So if you would like to constantly switch between professionally made overlays all the time on top of widgets and and all of the stuff that OwnPro offers, and there they have an OBS plugin. Just 
do the thing. And again, I've been working with them. They don't sponsor this video, but I am an affiliate. So the link in the description will probably be an affiliate link. Scale to sound. This one is basically scale to sound. <laughs> It can make a source react to sound and the way it reacts is by scaling it. It can scale up, it can scale down, but it scales to sound. Image reaction. This one is basically the simplest way that you can have something like a PNG tuber. So it also reacts to sound, but the way that it reacts is that you can set it up to have a different image. So every time you speak, a second image will show up. For a PNG tuber, it's your character mouth closed and then the second image would be mouth open. So every time you speak, blah, 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 blah. There you go. If you want to learn how to do a better, more proper PNG tuber, watch my other videos on that subject. Scene as transition. This one allows you to show a scene during a transition. So scene one, scene two, the time it's taking to transition between the one and the two, it's going to be displaying the third one and then removing it. This one was created by Andy Leapy, which is a fellow content creator. There will be a link to his video directly in the description. Then we have the Ash Mannix Blur Filter. This is a pretty simple blur filter, but it still gives you multiple types of blurs, multiple options. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for a quick blur plugin, this one is pretty cool. OBS Shader Filter. Now this one is using specific type. I think it's H HSL. I don't want to say something wrong. It's using specific types of uh, shaders that you can find online and you can just apply them and it allows you to make pretty cool effects like chromatic aberration or anything that could distort the image in any way. This is something that I need to get into since I'm doing, you know, a lot of effects with streamer bots and things like that. So yeah, if you're wondering how you could apply specific filters from things like Photoshop or After Effects, shader filters are the way to go. Audio pen filter. This one is kind of self-explanatory if you know what audio pen is. Basically, you can um, pull your tracks to be mono, stereo, pull them left pull them right you can have two mics and make your own ASMR mic maybe if you're a musician for example you can have your guitar be slightly on the left and then your mic be centered and then I don't know the drums are gonna be slightly on the right I'm not a musician that's kind of a lie anyways <laughs> then there's free effects I still need to test this one but this is technically supposed to be at least a one-to-one -one replacement of stream effects so if you've been in the obs game for a while now you know that stream effects is no longer free and uh i don't know there were some controversies around it people were mad so now someone basically remade it but for free so check it out so there should be some color correction there should be things like uh i think there's outline drop shadow there's also a 3d effect there's a bunch of stuff in stream effects oh look another thing that's not a plugin pulsoid.net just because the heart rate monitor widget is so cool and i totally recommend it so basically you can buy a very cheap uh, heart rate monitor or if you already have a device that's compatible with their their service yeah they have a bunch of options for you to display your heart rate on stream with a bunch of cool looking widgets some of them are video game themed and yes full disclosure i am partnered with them next up is composite blur and this one seems to be a little more advanced i haven't tried it yet but uh andy lippy has a video on it so i'll i'll also post that and this one seems really advanced like really gives you all the options for multiple types of blur that you can have for multiple situations so check it out and then last but not least um Bongo Cat, why not? I remember when Streamlabs had that, but it was in their store, so you had to have um, their premium service. This one is free, and basically it's a Bongo Cat that's gonna react to stuff that you do. If you're typing on your keyboard, you're moving your mouse around and things like that, and there's multiple skins, so your Bongo Cat can look different. And that's about it. There are some plugins in this list that I haven't tried yet, so I will be making specific videos for them. And then for the rest, I probably already have a video on it, so go check it out. If you're an OBS veteran, let me know in the comment section below how many of them you already knew about. And if you're kind of new to OBS and you haven't tried any plugins yet, hopefully this video convinced you. Mom. That being said, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Also, check out the link in the description and the pinned comment to help Daylo get the laser cutter. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all for watching. Go out there, make me proud. Yeah, level out.